have a quick look around the box. We've got the ZE 551ML version, which has a 5.5 inch display with full HD resolution, 13 megapixel camera, 4G LTE with up to 150 megabits per second download speed and a 3000 milliamp hour battery. You also have an Intel Atom Z3580 quad core CPU with 2.3 gigahertz and this is the 2 gig RAM version. There is also one with 4 gig, this is the 2 gig. We also have 32 gigabytes of storage and it is expandable as you'll see in a second. So yeah, this is the box, pretty neat. And let's have a look at this beautiful smartphone. And indeed it is quite beautiful. We have a nice silver finish on the back, but we'll have a look at it in a second. So first, what is inside the box? Uh, we've got the Taiwanese version, which uh, may be different compared to your version. Um, so we have a five point, how much is it? 5.2 volt, uh, 1.35 amp um, yeah, PSU. We also have a micro USB cable, which is about one meter, I think. And we also have a nice headset, uh, which is in ear, and you should exchange these as well. Um, as I said, this is the Taiwanese version. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be the same packaging in, in your country, probably not, but yeah, just for your reference. So now let's have a quick tour around the device. We have a five megapixel front-facing camera on the front, and also a back button, a home button, and a multitasking button. There's nothing on the left side and also nothing on the right side. Uh, we have a microphone and a micro USB connector on the bottom and a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, a microphone and a power button on top, which is quite unusual. I haven't seen this before, but yeah. What you also can do, you don't have to use this power button. You, what you can do is just double tap the uh, screen and then just, yeah, unlock your device. And if you want to lock it again, you just tap on the notification bar and it's locked. Very convenient. What we also have on the back is a 30 megapixel camera, which should be quite good in uh, low light because it uses some Pixel Master technology. We'll have a look at it in the review. And also we have a dual LED flash and the volume rocker on the back, which is not very convenient, I must say, because if you want to change the volume while the phone is laying down, you have to pick it up and yeah, adjust the volume like this. So I'll see how convenient it is in the review, but for now it doesn't hurt, but yeah, just, just my two cents on it. So the back is made out of plastic, which is, which has quite a nice build quality to it. It doesn't make too many sounds. It doesn't crack, it doesn't move, which is, yeah, quite good quality. Um, it also has some nice brushed aluminum, uh, yeah, design to it. I don't know if you like it, for me, it's pretty fine. What we also got here is uh, the Intel logo, Zenfone logo, and we have a big volume, um, big uh, speaker grill on the bottom. So let's open up the device. Oh, let's see. It's not that easy. Okay, so we have an NFC antenna over here. Um, this is the speaker, so it's not that large, it just, yeah, the grill is larger than the speaker. But yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at the quality of the speaker in the review. Uh, what we also got here, we can expand the memory with micro SD cards, which is always nice. And you also have a dual SIM device here. So the first SIM can take 2G, 3G, and 4G SIM cards, which is, um, which, which format is it? This is micro SD, yes. And the second SIM can take 2G SIM cards. Um, I know how it will be in your country, but uh, maybe you won't get the dual SIM version. It really depends on ASUS deciding for you. Um, yeah, and what you also could see, you cannot remove the battery yourself, at least if you don't have the tools. So the display is pretty nice. It's a 5.5 inch panel, IPS panel with very wide viewing angles. Uh, it's 1920 by 1080p resolution. It's really very crisp if we have some text, for example, here in settings, it's really very nice. High pixel density of about 400 PPI, very nice display. And it's also quite bright. If you want to adjust the brightness yourself, you can do that here. And as you can see, very bright. I hope it's bright enough in the sunlight, but for now, 